In this section, we are going to take a look at building linear models. We are going to first build a linear regression model without using scikit-learn. Then we're going to build a linear regression model using scikit-learn and see how much easier it is. Then we're going to evaluate the linear regression model. After that, we're going to build a logistic regression model on the previous data set after removing outliers, and then we're going to evaluate this logistic regression model using a confusion matrix and ROC curve. So in this first video, we are going to build a linear regression model without using scikit-learn. So for this model, we are going to download a weather data set because our previous data was only for logistic regression because we were predicting whether a sale would happen or not. Now we're going to use weather data and we're going to try to predict the maximum temperature given the minimum temperature. So click on this link over here to download the data. As usual, we are going to load our regular packages and libraries train test split we're not going to be using scikit-learn's linear regression model. We are instead going to use stats models API. So in this data, we're going to predict what the maximum temperature is given the minimum temperature. We're splitting our data set again into training and test set, and we're going to run an ordinary least squares regression on this data. This is our model summary. Our R squared is 0.95, which is pretty good which means that our minimum temperature does predict maximum temperature, which does make sense intuitively also. Now, these are our predictions right here, and this is y test, so we can see that the numbers are pretty close to each other. And this is our regression visualization. With a regression, you're trying to fit all of the data to this line in the best way possible. Now, this is not very great, for these variables down here, but it is trying to fit the data a little better up here. Mainly when you're looking at OLS, you're concerned with what the R squared value is, and a 0.95 R squared value is pretty good. The R squared value ranges from zero to one. And this is our coefficient, which means that for every increase, in the minimum temperature, we can see an increase in the maximum temperature by a factor of 1.4. And here is our confidence interval.